if somebody would have told me back in the Attitude Era, back in the early 90s, back the Ruthless Aggression Era with the likes of John Cena, Randy Orton, Batista, Brock Lesnar, then you had Austin, The Rock, you know the greats, the characters, the storylines, the developments, the reasons to tune in to Monday Night Raw, captivating, cultivating, fresh, new, a different perspective, taking chances, that open window, and you go all in. You let the breeze, you let the miles, you let the byways, the highways, you, you, you're in control. You're in demand. Switching gears to 2016, going back to when I was a kid, going back to when I was younger, and if you would have said to me, Sean, every week you're going to come on here and you're going to complain, and you're going to bitch, and you're going to piss about the product, about WWE, about how WWE isn't what it used to be, how WWE is a former shell of itself. You're going to come on here, Sean, and it's going to be degrading. It's going to be downgrading. It's it's going to be hurtful. It, 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 I'll tell you what. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm a WWE fan, and I'm not just going to stop watching because, truth be told, I mean, it, this is my job. I've been a WWE fan long before YouTube was around. I was a WWE fan long before I got paid to do WWE talk on YouTube.com. But, um... I'm not going to stop watching because I, I, for some reason, and, and this may be dumb, this may be stupid, but I feel there's going to be, I feel, I, I have this hope, there's going to be changes. WWE is going to rectify the situation and we're, we're going to see something happen. We're going to see something develop. Um, but right now, it's 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 traumatizing. It's, it's damn near depressing to see where the WWE used to be, what we know it can be. And what what it is now, I I, I mean, wh- wh- where is the effort? Where is the the, the creativity? Um, wh- where is the compelling characters? Where is the captivating Monday Night Raws? Where where is all that? Wh- wh- I understand that the WWE can be a little bit lazy. The WWE can be laid back because there's no ECW, there's no WCW, ROH and TNA are not competition to the WWE. But then you got NXT. How can NXT be doing so good? How can they be doing so well? And then we blame it on the creative team. But you got to wonder, the creative team that comes up with these match after match after match after match, I, I can't even really say that there's programs, that there's storylines, because it's really match after match after match after match. I mean, it's very simple, but not strategic. Um, <laughs> why are two guys fighting? What's at stake? What's the odds? What's the scenario? What's the story? Now we'll just throw two guys in the ring. Whoever wins will have a rubber match. I, I, I just don't see why they didn't put more emphasis on this. And, you know, it, it pains me. I mean, I, I hate to come on here and, and, and talk bad about the WWE. And I'm not the only one. But I, I'm not going to just stop watching. And I'm not going to stop watching because I'm a fan of them. I, I, I mean, you're talking about me who was a little kid growing up in Massachusetts, watching the likes of Razor Ramon, Brett the Hitman Hart, Shawn Michaels, the one, two, three kid. And then as I got older, Stone Cold, The Rock, you know, John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Batista, Randy Orton, uh, to to today, Seth Rollins, uh, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Kalisto, Alberto Dario, Rusev, Sheamus. The list goes on and on and on and on. But there is just so many holes in the WWE product. There, there is just so many questions. And once again, I understand there's no competition. So the WWE doesn't have to think outside the box. The WWE's PG. The WWE's this. The WWE's that. We can make up all the excuses all day long. But the ratings, the fans, the rants, the complaints shows it's out there. And how can the WWE not know this? How can the WWE not try to perform? Why can't the WWE try to change? Change with the times. Instead of the WWE going forward in 2016, they have went back. They've went back to the circus days. They've went back to just pure wrestling. There is not only wrestling in the title. It's called world, which means the world. And yes, WWE is worldwide. Everybody knows the WWE. Wrestling. There is wrestling combat, physicality, and then there's entertainment, which means storylines, which means building blocks, which means mic work, which means getting people over. 
the fundamentals are lost. I, I, I don't know why we are where we are. You know, I was going to start watching TNA Impact Wrestling, but they they not only uh, one time took it off my, my, my channel lineup, but I, I actually would have to pay extra to watch TNA Impact Wrestling. I can't watch Lucha Underground because they don't have Lucha Underground in my area. So I'm, I'm, I'm down to WWE. And quite frankly, truth be told, how, how much longer is, is Impact Wrestling or Lucha Underground or ROH? How much longer can they stand the test of time? You know, I, I don't want to see them go out of business. I don't want to see them go under. But with all the problems and money issues and bad checks and what have you, I mean, I know some of that pertains to TNA, but WWE is the big leagues. WWE is number one. No matter what we say, no matter how we say it, no matter um, you know what way we want to present it, the WWE is still the end all be all. There is no others. There is no other promotion that can touch the WWE in presentation, um, in in influencing, in um, and um, just just I mean the WWE is just so mainstream. It, it, no WWE will never be beaten. WWE will will never go away. And and you know you got WrestleMania coming up, and you got all these injuries. And and and, and listen, listen. I understand. You know the injuries are a part of the game, so that's why you have to call the next guy up, and that's why you can't just lay all your eggs in one basket and put all you know your money and time and effort in, into one guy. And that's what they've been doing primarily in John Cena. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a John Cena fan, and I've gotten a lot of hate for being a John Cena fan, but it is what it is. I think John Cena is the consummate performer. I think John Cena is the face that runs the place. And I think he's one of the greatest WWE superstars of all time. Uh, but at no time do, does the WWE find themselves in a place where, well, we're going to we're gonna focus all on John Cena. We're going to not give this guy a chance. I mean, you can talk about the burials. You can talk about Triple H doing the burials and this. and th we, Like I said, we can come up here on a million reasons. A million different reasons on a million different occasions. Where the WWE went wrong, but no more wrong are they, are they doing than, than right now. Um, it's 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 piss poor. It's less than exciting. Um, it's 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 almost to the point where you know, and, and and I've never stopped watching WWE in its darkest days when you had Abe Knuckleball Schwartz, okay, you when you had Doink the Clown, okay, when you had Duke the Dumpster Drozzy, you know, when when you had guys like that, TL Hopper. You know, still then, it was all about waiting. It was about the time. It was about the moment. And that's what I'm waiting. When is the time? When is the WWE going to make the adjustments? Because quite frankly, I'm getting sick and tired of waiting. I'm getting sick and tired of sitting around every Monday and Thursday. Even, and, and even some pay-per-views wondering, why do I keep watching? What keeps me watching? What is the hook that hooks me into the television and says, well, keep on watching? Monday Night Raw is not unpredictable. Monday Night Raw uh, isn't um, giving me the satisfaction I used to get. Once again, you can tell me to stop watching. That's easy. That that would be too easy for me to just stop watching. And you know what? For the first time in my life, if YouTube wasn't my job, I may stop watching because it's getting that bad. I think I'd rather take what WWE was doing in 93, 94, 95 up against what we got today. You know, it, it's... I, how could this happen? Why did this happen? Not in my wildest dreams or my worst nightmares that I ever think I'd come on here and say how bad the WWE is. I'm not taking anything away from the athletes. I'm not taking anything away from the performance. I have all the respect in the world for all the superstars. I'm a major fan of many of the superstars. But with the way the WWE is dictating the momentum, the way that they're losing momentum, the way that they're building up, the way that they're losing track, the way that they're just the just the company as a whole, and what we're watching, listen, we, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We only hear about it. We only read about it. But I can only imagine that what's going on behind the scenes is more entertaining than what's going on on our screens. That's why I say... I love talking about my view and my commentary of rumors, news, headlines, gossip, and speculation because, quite frankly, it's more entertaining than what we're watching on Raw and SmackDown. So many improvements, so many adjustments. WWE needs to stop, start shaping up. They need to start intensifying. They need to start upping their game because uh, what they're doing isn't working. And I don't know how many different languages and how many different ways we've got to say it, but the WWE needs to be WWE again because this is not... WWE. Subscribe.